right, let's see. Is everybody on? Beautiful. All right. Well, good morning, everybody. It's 10 o'clock Tuesday. And you guys get the schedule of who's going to be doing what today. Thank you so much for joining us, Prime Plus, on video. This is like a cool thing, I have to say. Um, so today we're going to start off on the floor with bar. A few things I always want to go over before we start any class. Number one thing is please listen to your body. Um, because Prime Plus hasn't been open for a while now, we haven't been able to do our regular classes, um, our classes that you may take. So if this is the only class you take all week, just listen to your body. Um, another thing, you have water um, around. Um, if you need to take a break, please drink some water as you may not feel that you're sweating, but you are you're really detoxing the body. Another thing with um, basic bar is that um, making sure your core muscles are always like engaged. And when we're standing up, trying to tuck that tailbone, because when you tuck the tailbone, it allows the stomach muscles to actually engage for you, especially if we're on the ground. We will be starting off the ground on the ground this morning. But you can always do it in the chair. There's always modifications and variations of this um, practice, which is really wonderful. So I'm going to start on the ground. Those who are sitting in chair, please sit in a chair. And all you do is extend the legs out for a moment. And just in the chair on the ground, just rock side to side and just feel your sit bones beneath you. And I want you to push through the heels. So you're actually flexing the feet and then you're going to point the toes. Okay, so you're going to flex the heels and you're going to feel the back of the leg. Okay, and then point the toes. I'm sorry. I didn't know somebody asked, asked the question or not. So um, flex and then point. And what you're doing is really you're flexing the ankles, you're uh, pointing the ankles. And but we're really getting some blood flowing into the legs right now. And we want to ankle circle here. Again, you could do it in the chair. You could do it on the floor, wherever your body is most comfortable. So here, sitting up nice and tall, pulling the shoulders back. Let's reverse our ankle circle here. And we're going to flex again and point. Now what we're going to do, we're going to lean back. So in your chair, you can sit into your chair, hold on to the side of the, the chair, the, the side of the chair if you like. But here we're going to just lean back onto the floor. We're going to pick up that right foot and we're going to point the leg. Okay. So from here, you're just going to take it out and in. Core muscle nice and tight, out and in. Everything is flex. Okay, we're just warming up the body for five, four, three. Two, one, lower that leg down. And the higher you go in the leg, the more um, effort your body has to give. So of course you can get more of a workout. And then we're gonna lift the left leg and we're gonna take it out and in. Out and in. Again, flexing everything, using all the muscles. All right, for five, four, three, two, one. Bringing it back here. So if you wanted to be on the floor, say if, if you're on the floor and your back is not feeling so great, you can always lay onto your back, okay? So last week when we just, we talked about back work and we're on our back, try to draw that navel to the um, floor, okay? So flattening out that lower back, um, tightening the ass. So again, we're coming to the right leg, lifting it up. Maybe you can lift it up a little bit higher. Now you're going to flex the foot. And as you flex the foot, you're going to turn the, the um, right hip out, and you're going to press up, 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 up. We've done this standing up for five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, left leg, turn it out, and lift up. Same thing, rotating that left hip out, up and down, for five, four, three, two, one, and relax here. Shake the legs out of it. We're coming back onto the other side. So now you're gonna draw the right knee in. You can do it in the chair. And you're gonna point that toe, and you're gonna circle that hip. Out. Point the toes. Good. For five more, five, 
four, three, two, one. Keep that leg in the air and you're gonna take it out and in. Pointing of that toe. Good. Again, engaging that core for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back in, same leg, rotate it back in. Pause in between and knee two. So you're rotating it the opposite direction for five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down and shake it all out. Woo! That's some hip work right there. Left leg will come up and you're gonna rotate out. Rotate that hip, pointing the toes, just like a beautiful ballerina. Good. For five more, five, four, three, two, one. Keep that leg in the air, keep it pointed, and you're gonna extend out and in. Out, in, out, in, out for five, four, three, two, and one. Keep it up, then bring it in and rotate the opposite way. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax here, bring the legs down, shake it out. From here, you're going to come into like a butterfly position, but we're not gonna bring the bottoms of the feet together in like a normal butterfly. We're gonna point our toes and connect our toes together. Sitting up nice and tall. So in the chair, same thing. You're just sitting in the chair and then you're bringing your big, your toes together here. And we're gonna keep our hands out just like this. Okay, you can hold on to thumb and uh, pointer finger if you would like, just like some ballerinas do. We're gonna take it out, pulling that navel in. Good, squeezing the shoulder blades. Bring it in, out. In. So when we bring it in, we're squeezing the um, chest, okay? You're squeezing those um, chest muscles together and out. So it's like you're holding this big ball here. Out and here. Good. Out and here. Let's do five more. Again, mind body connection. So when you squeeze the shoulder blades, feel the squeeze, feel the muscles in the back. And then when you bring it together, feeling the muscles in the front. Good. Two more. Two. And one. Beautiful. Keep the hands out just like this. Palms facing me. You're going to take the right hand and move it up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep that right arm out. Left hand will come up and up. Excellent. Up for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the hands down, roll those shoulders back. Do you guys feel that in your shoulders? Because we're coming back to the shoulders. And roll the shoulders forward. Excellent. Bring the hands up again. Now we're gonna alternate. We're gonna right, down, left, down, reach to the sky. Good, open the body, keep the core tight. Up, up, good. Five more. Four more. Breathe. Three, two, and one. Bring it down, roll the shoulders back, roll the shoulders forward. Take the right ear to the right shoulder. Come back into center, left ear to left shoulder. Come back to center one more time, right ear to right shoulder. Drop the chin to the chest, roll the left ear to the left shoulder. 
And then roll, drop the chin to the chest, roll to the other side. Good. Coming back in the center. Now we're going to come forward. We're going to come. This is what we're going to do. We're going to do right, down, left, down, forward, open, right, left, forward, right, left, and forward. Good. Move those arms. Nice little flow. Oops, sorry. Making sure we feel those muscles work up. Right, left, right, forward. Left, right, left, and forward. Last time, right, left, and forward. Beautiful, and roll the shoulders. Roll. Excellent, and forward here. Take the right leg, move the legs up again. Ankle circle here. Left, what? Take your ankles to the left. We're going to come up from the ground. So we'll move everything to the side. We're going to find our chair again. What do you want? Just to find, if you have a wall, use your wall. If you have a chair, use a chair. Excellent. All right, so we have our chair here. And what we're going to do is you can hold on to your chair with the right or left hand, whatever you like to do. We're going to bring our heels together, toes are facing out. This is our first chance of pile, and what we're going to do is we're just going to lift the heels and down and up. You'll hold on to the right side of the hip, up or left, whatever you're holding the chair. Up and down, up, down. Let's do five more, five, four, three, Two, one. So now we're going to add another step. We're going to come up here, point, bring it in, and down. Woo! That's another, that's a big step. So here, holding on to the wall or the chair, you're going to come up like we just did. Point with one toe, right or left, bring it in, and bring the heels down. Up. Take the right or left foot up. Here and down. Up, point the toe, bring it in, and down. Up, take it out, bring it in, and down. Take it up, take it out, bring it in, and down. Three more, up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Last one, out, in, down. Shake it out. Ankle circle if you need to. Good. You might be feeling it in the calves right now. So what we do to one side, we got to do the other side so the one side doesn't get jealous. <laughs> so here, coming into that first pose of pile. Good. Holding on to your left or right hip, whatever the one that you did you uh, haven't done yet. So coming up. Good. Take it out. Take it in. And down. Up, out, in, down, up, out, in, down. Four more, up, good, out, and bring it in. Down, up, out, in, down, good, up, out, in, down. One more, up, out, in, down. Shake it all out for me. Good. Staying on that same side, we'll take the right leg out, the same thing that we did on the floor, but now it's this balancing stance. So here, what I want you to do is point the toe. Point the toe. Hip is in line with the knee, knee in line with the um, ankle. And all you're going to do is lift. Short pulses, okay? We're not doing it fast, just lift. Pull the navel in. Lift. Lift. Lift, good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in, beautiful, and shake it all out. Move the hips if need to. This all are strengthening the hips, the thighs, the core muscle. Good, now what we're going to do is we're gonna bring the foot forward, 
okay? We're gonna lift, and then we're gonna pull out. Here, down. Up, here, down. Excellent, up, out, in. So when we're doing this, what I want you to do is lift it up, but kind of slightly rotate this hip out. So now you're actually rotating hip out, and you're like you're pushing something along with the top of the foot to your right. Okay, if we're using the right leg, we're um, pushing something out to the right with our foot. So you're gonna lift, toes are pointed forward, rotate the hip out, and then glide it along. Bring it back in and down. Good, let's do five of those. Up, rotate hip out, and out, and down. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Two more. Up, out, in, down. One more. Up, out, in, down. Relax. Shake it all out. Doing that, you're using so tone, different muscles in the thighs and in the legs. Coming to the opposite side. So whatever the side the chair is on is the leg that you're using. Okay, just to make it kind of simple for some, some of you out there, all right? So here, planting the feet, we're gonna take that foot out. Again, the same side that you're holding the chair with. You're gonna lift it up and down. Up, down, up, down. And then we're gonna take it up, rotate the hip out, and take it along the side like you're moving it along the side. Good. Up. Rotate hip out and down. Up and down. Up and down. Good. Five more. Up, rotate the hip out and out. In, down. And four. And three. And two. Ooh, last one. And Beautiful, shake it all out. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. All right, so here, we're gonna come and we're gonna add the arms to what we're doing here. So, feet are gonna be forward. Well, let's take it out just a little bit. Um, toes are out, all right? Heels are somewhat close together. And what we're gonna do is take our right hand. So we're gonna start with left hand onto the chair, right hand forward, so we're on the same way. Hands are up, so don't try to drop that elbow. We want a nice um, line here with the arm, and we're going to take the right heel up. Good, and we're going to step it out, Good. and bring it in. Step it out, and in. So here, what would they would call in martial arts, or like in yoga horse stance here, or wide leg stance, arm is out, bring it in. And out, nice, beautiful pose. So here, when we're squatting here, keeping the knees directly aligned with the second and third toe. Pull those shoulders back, lifting the chest, bring it in, keeping it low, and out. Bring it in, and out. Bring it in, and out. Bring it in, and out. This time, what I want you to do is hand is here, we're gonna bring it in, but we're gonna cross the back of the leg, and we're gonna open up the right side of the body, and take it out into this wide leg stance again. And bring it back, and take it out. And bring it back, and take it out. Excellent, out, and out. Good, let's do three more. And three, here, two, here, and one. Beautiful, bring it in, walk it all out. Switch the chair to the opposite side. Move my thumb here, that we're using for music. Good, so shake it all, move those hips around. Move it the other way. Beautiful. We're going to step out a little bit wide, bending of the knees here. Have the hand forward again. Try not to drop that elbow. So if you do have a, a pain in the elbow, if it feels 
painful, drop the elbow, do what your body says, okay? So here, good, we're gonna take the knee in, or bend the knee, pointing the toe, and we're gonna step out. Again, making sure in that squat, your knees are in the line with second, third, third toe, bring it in, chin out. Lift, lift the chest, pull shoulders back, and out. Tuck that tailbone, and out. Good. I always have to remind, remind myself about tucking the tailbone too. So we're all doing it. Out and in and out and in and out. Good. Go lower if you like. If you want a little bit more, you can touch the knee and come out. Touch the knee and out. And in and out. Good. Let's do three more. Three. Two, one, bring it in, shake it all out. Good. Now, we're gonna do over the head, okay? Like we did the other side. So here again, I'm come into this wide leg, heel leg stance here. Good, and as we bring it in, hand is here, or oh, actually we're gonna take it here. As we come out, all right, hand is here, and then crossing it over. Cross the uh, left leg behind the right leg, opening up that left side of the body, and then come out again. Open. And good. So again, we switch to the other side. Good. Cross the left leg behind the right leg, here. Here. Excellent. Let's do three more. Three, two, and one. Relax here, shake it all out. Come into your wide leg stance again. We're gonna let our shoulders relax a little bit. So we're coming here, squat down. Okay, so I'm gonna come to the side so you guys kinda can see what I'm doing here. So our oh, legs are nice and wide. You're gonna squat down. Again, knees are facing or are following the second of their toe. Okay, so they're not this way. They're out. Rotate those hips out. Okay, here. We're not here, we're here. Tuck that tailbone under. Draw that navel to the spine. Okay, so what we're going to do is that we're gonna pulse up and down. Up, up, down, 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 down. Excellent. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, push the legs up, move those hips side to side, side to side. Again, here. We're gonna do that one more time, okay? So we're gonna squat down, Tuck that tailbone, all right? Pull the shoulders back. Lift the right heel this time. And you're gonna stay in this stance. And what I'm gonna, we're gonna do is gonna pulse for five, then we're gonna drop the heel for five. Two sets of those, okay? But we'll take a break in between, all righty? So squat down, lift that right heel up. And we're gonna pulse down, down, three, Two, one, keep that nice um, pose here, and then up and down for five, four, three, two, one. Keep that heel up, push up, walk it all out. You can probably feel the inner thighs work here. <laughs> you guys doing okay? <laughs> so here, out again, squat down. Lift that right heel up, good, and pulse. Pulse, five, four, three, two, one. Drop to heel, five, four, three, two, one. Push up, good. Breathe and roll those hips. Now, we're gonna squat down one more time. We're gonna lift that right heel up. 
kind of lean the weight into that left um, left leg or scoot the left leg in a little bit. Hold on to your chair or your wall. You're gonna pull it in and down. In, down. Notice that when I pull it in and I place my foot down, I squat down. Bring it in or keep that squat. Bring it in. Bring it in. Three, two, one, and relax, push it all up, walk it all out, get yourself a drink if need to. Woo! Beautiful. Making sure we don't go over time when we're perfect right now. So we're gonna do the same thing at the other side. What we do to one side, we do the other. I'm gonna get me a drink, follow my own directions. Beautiful. Again, taking the heels out, squatting down here. Knees are in line with second, third toe. Drop that tailbone. One thing we're not doing, so when we drop the table, it's not shooting the pelvic forward. We're not doing the, we're here. So if my tailbone's out, we're just dropping it. Or if you want to take your finger, put it to your belly button. And like you're pushing the belly button in and the tailbone just wants to slide in. Slide down, I mean. That's it, that's all we're doing, okay? So here, dropping the tailbone, pull the shoulders back. Good. Lift that left leg, opposite side. And we're gonna pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. From here, drop the heel, lift the heel, drop. Lift for three, three, two, and one. Good, lift the heel up, pull up the uh, body, move those hips around, walk those legs out, shake them out if you need to. Then come back in your, spot, um, in your pose. Good, coming into this nice wide leg to leg, drop the tailbone again, pull the shoulders back, lift that left heel, and pulse for five, Four, three, two, one. Drop the heel for five. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Shake it all out. Now bring that right heel in just a tiny bit. And what we're going to do is you're going to take your toe, toes to the uh, knee, ankle. It doesn't have to be that far uh, or uh, that high, I mean. And then we're going to drop it down. Squat. Squat, up, squat, up, squat. Let's do four. Four, three, two, and one. Relax. You're going to love me after these classes. It's because we're toning our legs. Summertime is around the corner. So we'll be happy to get in our bathing suits and go to the beach. <laughs> After being quarantined and eating probably everything in our house. <laughs> so here, now we're gonna face our chair. We, I think that we did this last week, but this is really good for the back of those thighs, the um, glutes, that lower back. So here, we're gonna take that right, the right toes out, point the right toes, keep the chest nice and lifted, soften the left knee. And all you're going to do is pulse it up, up. And be mindful, mind and body connection. The back of the leg is squeezing the glute, the lower back. So we're gonna do two sets of eight. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more set, take a breather. Inhale and exhale, let's squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, relax, bring it in, in, move those hips, move them to the other side. Step back with left leg. Good, softening that right knee. Good, pointing the left toes, keep the chest nice and lifted, and you're going to squeeze, remember the parts, that back, glutes, and the back of the leg. So we're just gonna lift, Lift, lift to eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. One more time. Take a breather. Inhale. Exhale and squeeze. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Move those hips around. Move those hips around. Good. Stepping out as wider than your mat. Okay? Or just a nice wide stance here. Relax those knees. And here, when you relax those knees, you're going to notice that the knees turn in. All right? Well, just sit fine here. And now what I want you to do is as you squat down, I want you to extend the arms. So if you need to um, move back from your chair, please do. From here, I want you to push the knees back. Back, 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 okay, back, 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 keep low, back, back. Use all these muscles here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse, five, four, three, two, one. Push up, move those hips around, walk it out. We're going to do another set of those. Woo! I always feel good after working out with you guys, I have to say. <laughs> you motivate me to do all this. So here, again, squatting down. Just tuck that tailbone. Good. Pull that navel in. Pull the shoulders back. Reach for your chair. All right? So you're going to push those knees back. Knees are pushed back. Push. Push, push, push. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and pulse. Down and up. Four, three, two, one. Relax and walk the back. Excellent. Move those hips around. Move it to the other direction. Good. Coming back onto the hands. So we did a lot of our lower part. So I don't expect you to come into a squat and do this. But we're going to take our feet out here. Slightly bend in the knees where it's comfortable. And we're going to open up here. Extend the arms and we're going to pulse forward. Pulse forward. Good. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse down. Palms are facing the floor. And pulse down. Five, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Palms are facing me. Now you're going to push it back like you're pulse, pulsing the back of the hand. And pulse back, 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 back. Squeeze those shoulders. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Pause here, palms to the sky, and pulse up, up. You notice I'm not doing this. I'm not flying. I'm just pulsing, pulsing. Short movement with the arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax here. Roll those shoulders back. Roll those shoulders forward. We're going to do it another time. And now we're going to really let you get into that mind-body connection. We should already be doing it. But what I want to show is that if you actually I'm going to come up close to the camera. So if you actually can see, this is a relaxed arm. This is a more um, tense arm. Do you see my muscle doing this? Okay, let me see if I could do it this side. So relaxed arm, tense arm. Do you see that movement even here? Relax arm, tense, tense. You see that small movement? Give me a thumbs up if you could see that. Okay, so that is what I want you to do. When we're doing our arm movement, it's up, 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 up. You see that pulsation? It's not this. It's not just this arm doing this. It's the pulse up, pulse up, pulse up, okay? So practice that, and we're gonna do another set, and just. Be mindful. We'll do five instead of eight so you guys can really get into it. So to get, um, you don't have to squat down unless you want to. There's a lot of things going on when you squat down. 
one, the mind's like, okay, I need to keep this pose and do this. But if you want to practice more of the arms, just stand up, hands out, palms are facing me. And I want you to extend, like you're opening up that chest and pulse forward. So you're going to pulse, pulse, feel those muscles. Remember, it's not this, it's pulse forward, pulse forward. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. <laughs> now we're going to take it down, palms to the floor. Same thing, pulse down, pulse down, like you're pushing something within the palm. Down, down, five, four, three, two, one. Relax the arms, shake it all out. So there's this huge difference that we're doing here, okay? So here, open up again. When we pulse back, shoulder blades are trying to work together, kissing each other, but at the same time, you're using these arm muscles, okay? So opening up the chest and push back, push back, push back. Okay, three, two, one, relax. Roll those shoulders back. Roll the shoulders forward. Now we're gonna take it up to the sky. Palms up, okay? Again, push up, push up, push up, push up. Three, two, one, relax. Roll those shoulders back. We are gonna to come to the ground now. So even though we come to the ground, you can still do it into the chair. And I will definitely show you that part of it. So we're going to come onto our back. Okay, so those are in the chair. You just go ahead and sit in the chair. And here, it's the same thing on the floor. So let me come to the side of my chair so you guys can actually see what's happening. So on the floor, what I always train or teach you guys is that here's a regular arch. If we're laying on our back, this is our arch here. We can actually slip our hands under our back. When you're on the floor and doing any of this bar exercise or legless or anything, I want you to, again, take your belly button, take it to, I mean, take your fingers to your belly button, inhale, exhale, pull it in. So do you see that difference? This is my arch in a chair. Now we're going to align and squeeze the stomach muscles together. And now it's a neck straight back here to here, okay? I'm not slouching forward, all of the different foot, I pull that navel in, standing up nice and tall. If your lower back is weak, this is the reason why we do what we do, if your lower back is weak, you're gonna start feeling fatigue here. And that is normal and that is okay. Just pause for a moment, tuck the chin to the chest and look up, okay? So do that often, those are gonna be sitting in the chair. So we're gonna do the first practice in the chair. And so those are on the floor, you're laying on your back, all right? So bring your, those are on the floor, bring your knees over your hips. Again, if there's this arch in the back, pull that navel down. And that will not naturally happen when the knees come over the hips. And what I want you to do, those are in the chair, you're gonna hold on to the side of the chair, you're gonna lean back just a tiny bit, all right? You're gonna have your toes. You can place your toes on the floor. You're going to right leg, come will come up, and you're gonna tap down, up and down, up, down. If you want a little bit more than sitting in the chair, lift the left leg up, and just lift that right leg up and down, up and down, up and down. Up and down, point those toes. Those that are on the floor, again, take that navel to the spine, both knees are up and down. If you wanna keep one toe on the floor, guys, please do so for more stability. Three, two, one, relax. Bring both feet onto the floor, those that are laying down and those that are seated. Good, move. Um, those that are laying down, rock the um, arch, meaning arch the back, flatten the back. Arch the back, flatten the back. Those are on the floor. Those that are on the chair, tuck the chin. Round the spine. Lift the chin. Look up. Arch the back. Tuck the chin. Round the spine. Look up. 
Good. So what we do to one side, we do to the other. Those are sitting in the chair. Pull that navel in. Nice firm back here. Sitting up nice and tall. Those are on the floor. Take that navel to the spine as you lift the knees over the hips. Those are on the floor. You can always take a foot to the floor, the opposite foot that you're not working. If you want more of it though, lift both feet up. Those are in a chair and on the ground. You can also place a foot down for modification, but we are just working this left leg. So we're gonna bring it up, down to the floor. Down, down, pull that navel in. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Good, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, relax, sitting up in the chair. Those are in the chair, sit up. Again, round, do these cat and cows that we've learned in the chair yoga class, cat and cows, moving that body. Do some circles in the chair if you need to. Those are on the floor, the same thing. Just round the back, arch the back, good. Excellent. Now we're going to do the same thing, but this time, again, those are in chair leaning back. You can have both toes up or one toe on the ground. We did this up and down. Now you're going to extend out, bring it in, extend out, bring it in, extend out, bring it in, out, bring it in. You want more that those are sitting in the chair? Lift that toe, the other toe up, out, in, out, in, good. Open up the chest. If you notice you're doing one of these, stop and start all over again. Good. Keep it moving. Three more, two, and one. Relax here, shake all your legs out. Good, again, real quick, these movements with the spine is very important. Okay, good. Other side. So from here, we're gonna lean back in our chair. Those are on the floor, pull that navel into the spine, touch the spine to the earth. Lift that left knee up. Good. And you're bring it in, extend out, and extend out. Again, modification for those that are sitting or lying, lifting that other leg up. Up, up, up. Three, two, one and relax again tuck the chin round the spine tuck the chin round the spine good let's go ahead and do some cool down here just a little bit <laughs> so here as we lay on the back you're going to bring the bottoms of the feet together those are on the chair sitting up nice and tall so the bottoms are the feet together you most likely those are in the chair your toes or what's touching the ground, okay? So those that are laying on the floor, the outside of your feet is what's touching the ground. The knees are open. So here the knees are open. Let me face this way. I didn't realize this was a better way. Those are sitting in the chair. This is how we're gonna look, sitting in the chair. Those are on the floor. This is how you're gonna look, but your back is on the ground. So from here, draw that navel into the spine. And you're going to use your stomach muscles, leg muscles, inner thigh muscles, even those arms, those that are sitting in the chair, those arms to keep you lifted, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to pull up and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Good. Five, four, three, two. One, lower down, keep on the floor, just let your knees flop open. Those that are sitting in the chair, let your knees flop open and just relax for a moment. We're gonna do one more set of that. Just breathing, excellent. And then go ahead and lean back. Those are in the chair, keep your arms behind you. Roll those shoulders back, good. Those are laying down doing this. Take that navel to the spine. Even those sitting in the chair, take that navel to the spine. And you're going to lift. Mind and body connection. Squeeze that lower part of the abs and squeeze. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Three more, guys. Three, 
Maybe on your last one, test yourself and hold that position up in the air. Hold, 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 and lower down. Shake it all out. Good job, guys. <laughs> so we're gonna go, I'm gonna come off the chair. Those are in the chair, just stay in your chair. Good. I'm gonna come onto the floor. So those are on the floor, come up in the seated pose. Okay. And we're gonna take our legs out, shake them out a bit. You did a really good job. This is really now our cool down. I have about one minute. So we'll take the right leg out, guys. Okay, those are sitting in the chair, just extend the right leg, bend the left knee. Right leg extended, left knee is bent. Those are on the floor, just watch me lengthen. And then I want you to fold or hinge at the hips and just kind of touch where your hands you want to touch, stretch it out. Take a good inhale and exhale. A good inhale again and a good exhale again. And then slowly come up, we'll switch it out. Left leg forward, right knee is bent. Good. So those are on the chair. Your knee is not bent like mine out to the side. It's bent like you're sitting just like this, okay? And you're gonna lengthen through the spine, through the crown of the head, and you're gonna come forward again, and you're gonna just touch, hinge at your hip. We're not gonna round, we're just gonna hinge, pressing the heart forward. Good. Breathe, pull it down some. And slowly get them up, come up. Give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> we made it, 45 minutes of bar class. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the second week of all these classes. Prime Plus is doing such an amazing job to reconnect us. Please pass the word around that we have this scheduled um, and if you love us so much, there is a donate button somewhere. <laughs> so I thank you so much for joining me this morning in, um, basic bar. Um, and I hope to see you guys soon. Okay. You guys take care.